About once a century, something happens that is so grand, so great, so spectacular, that the world stops in its tracks to take notice. Plus, it's just really freaking cute. This is the Puppy Bowl, Game Day Revisited. In 2009, the Puppy Bowl was back, and back with a bang. New additions to this year's Puppy Bowl included a blimp providing aerial views of the game and the event. I'm not sure how comfortable the dogs and fans would have been had they known it was just a pair of hamsters flying the blimp, though. Who put hamsters in a blimp? I mean, really, were there not any ducks available? Another notable addition to the game was the league's new partnership with the Rabbit Cheerleading Squad to cheer from the sidelines all game. Though the high level of athleticism displayed in the early going was a clear sign this was one of the most talented groups of puppies ever assembled, for the most part it didn't result in much yardage gain, and there was very little scoring in the first half. Fava, a black lab mix who was a track and field standout in college, was drafted out of school without a true position. A long and high jumper who even got an Olympic trial invitation, Fava was clearly in her element soaring over defenders to make crucial first downs. As any Puppy Bowl fan knows, sometimes the coach's plays are executed to a T, and other times a play is made when players improvise on the fly. Jake, a New Jersey pug, made a name for himself by doing a little of both. Coming off the line of scrimmage with an option pitch run called, Jake ran the play to perfection, moving to open field, drawing the defense to him. That's when things got a little crazy, and Jake refused to pitch the ball, instead wearing out the defense on his own by making circles on the field. After the game, Jake would explain that pitching the ball just means they'll put the camera on someone else. One of the biggest upsets in the game was when Toby, a golden retriever mix, was given a rough, rough, roughhouse call and booted out of the game. Puppy foul! Unnecessary rough, rough, roughness on Toby. You're out of here. This not only upset Toby, but set off a huge debate between fans as they debated the political correctness of the actual call. For their part, fans had a hard time determining if using rough rough in front of the rough house call was really necessary. Not only did this call change the outcome of the game, it changed the league's thinking on how to deal with hard hits moving forward. Puppy Bowl 6 had many legends out on the field, but one that stuck out to both fans and the league alike was Jake. Bringing to the game an endless amount of endurance and stamina, this puppy played hard from the first whistle to the final gun. No one thought a pug as small as Jake would make it. Nonetheless, Jake kept his training up and always went to practice, and that really paid off when he was given the title of MVP. Though Puppy Bowl 6 was once again a celebration of everything that is right with America, dark clouds could be seen forming on the horizon as Puppy Bowl 7 would be the final game covered under the current collective bargaining agreement between the Puppy Union and the League. It all added up to Puppy Bowl 7 becoming the most important event in Puppy Bowl history, as it would crown not only a new Puppy Bowl champion, but decide the fate of Puppy Bowl for years to come.